Welcome back to Yugoslavia, gentlemen. If you haven't seen the first episode, you should absolutely check it out. So much has gone on there that I can't fully explain here because, well, so much has gone on. One thing that I think is especially important is this push right here. It was the most successful push of our initial invasion, and it actually um, is mostly Macedonian units. A lot of different armored brigades, etc. Of course, these are still NATO units, but under the army of Macedonia. Unfortunately, as soon as we broke through, the Serbs responded with great force. They really did not like this breakthrough one bit, and they're going to do everything they can to make us pay for it. So the one thing I want to do is try to break through in some other zones. Uh, this one looks like a potential area to push through. So we're actually going to send these guys in. Oh, nope, not that. My bad. Um, and we're going to attack. We're also going to dedicate quite a lot of our air support here um, to the attack on Urosevac, is what I'm going to be calling it. And we are going to dedicate every single one of these land units to push. We've also got a Serb HQ here, and it looks like the probability of our success is excellent. So perhaps our air attacks in the previous turn did a lot of damage here to the enemy. Just to be safe, though, I'm going to bring in some Italian air support. Um, also bring in some Dutch air support and even an RAF Tornado, because why not? And we'll also bring in one of these Tactical Air Brigades. I think we're going to be fine there, and that's obviously a really good sign if we could break through to Orosevac, but we have to wait and see. Now, over here with our Macedonian allies, I don't want to leave them out here in the dust, but they can't attack anymore this turn, so we kind of have to just wait, and unfortunately, in their case, hope for the best. Let's take a look over here. Now, this is something we absolutely need to push through, um, it's just a very large Serb roadblock, and we can't wait for our Kosovo allies, the guerrilla fighters over here, to assist us. We need to push through on our own here. There's just no other way about it. So I'm starting to bring these guys all up to this front line. Engineer as well. And we are going to target this group. Now, we've actually got anti-tank units, enemy anti-tank units here. But again, I don't give a damn. We're throwing everything we can at them. If we need to, we'll bring in some significant air support. But I think with this many units attacking, we're probably going to be okay. Nonetheless, better safe than sorry. So I am going to bring in... Um, let's take a look here. NATO 52nd Air Wing. Let's bring in the NATO 48th Air Wing. And let's bring in the Lion Force, NATO Lion Force close air support here. In fact, I want to bring in even another fighter. Um, let's grab this RAF Tornado. Actually, I see the RAF Tornado and the Italians have not yet um, linked up in the other battle. So perhaps they are not operational for this stage of the fight. But I'm going to send all of those units in. Um, as for the guerrilla units over here, I would love to send them some support. And we've got this special forces unit over here, this SOC unit. I think I'm going to send them into the mountains um, in an effort to support our Kosovo allies here and smash through the enemy. So here we go. Let's plan an attack. You know what? I want to bring in even more men. So let me grab some of these guerrilla units. I'm just going to bring one of them over here. And I want to knock out that enemy anti-tank group. We're also going to make sure that this is a just a massive attack. Essentially, we're ignoring losses, which means that even if we start taking some serious hits, the order is to continue attacking. Keep on going, basically. There we go. Um, probability of success is very poor. So for this attack, guys, we really are going to call in Broken Arrow. I'm um, just going to call in a number of different air attacks. And I'm hoping that with their support, we should be able to do some pretty significant damage here. But of course, this means we are dedicating all assets, or most assets, to this particular attack. This, it says the success is very poor, but we've seen that message before and gone on to do great things. I'm also going to bring this unit along for the fight. So we've got a mech brigade. And that moves success to poor. Still not ideal. Can we get another mech brigade in here? Unfortunately, I don't think we can. However, we can bring this mech brigade and attack the enemy infantry unit that's hanging out here. Um, we're not going to be attacking on multiple fronts, though, so I think we'll hold off for now. So far, there are Yugoslav units in Montenegro, um, but thankfully, they are not part of the war currently. Now, of course, they could cross the border and cause us some serious issues, but I don't think that's what they're doing at the moment. 
up here we were extremely successful um, in the Bosnia Herzegovina area, just taking out some of the Serbs. Unfortunately, over here um, we weren't as successful. There are still some Serbs kind of moving around, so we need to get on that quickly. Um, these units, unfortunately, are not going to be operational this turn because they've been in pretty severe combat in the last turn. But we'll go ahead, end it here, and hope for the best. Let's just hope that those attacks go as planned. Here we go. Air support as well. And that's going to be a victory. We can already hear the victory cheers there. Absolutely awesome, guys. Let's take a look here at the enemy losses in this attack. And we absolutely crushed their assault squads. I mean, their infantry units were almost totally decimated. We took out a lot of the M80s and the M60. Uh, no, they're not fireworks. They are um, APCs. Um, and we also took out some SPOGs. These guys, these ZSU SPOGs. I think we did a tremendous job here. Now, as for the attacking units, not many losses. We did have a few losses, including two medium attack helicopters, which I don't like. But six AT squads... That's looking pretty great for us, guys. So a very successful attack there. Now, what about our Kosovo allies over here? Are they going to be able to do anything? Yes, they are, guys. Unbelievable. Our Kosovo allies actually did manage to win that attack. Unfortunately, Serb aircraft came in and hit one of our mech units. Um, but again, a victory is a victory. Let's take a look at the losses here. We had some NATO Turkish air support. And that certainly made a big difference. So again, a lot of losses on the enemy side. They lost every single one, or almost every single one, of their 37mm spogs here. Um, they also lost some assault squads, but with 32, they still have a lot left over. Although I think that certainly surprised the Serbs. And without a doubt, our air support in the previous turn had to have contributed um, to that awesome result there. Another victory, guys, in the village of Gorozhuk has now been liberated, although there's a good chance we've also decimated the village. We'll have to see once we get there, but once again, very successful attacks here against them and utterly destroying a number of assault AT squads. Also, destroying a lot of trucks. Now, that might not seem like a lot, but we've been destroying trucks since the beginning of this battle, and, all, and over time, they're going to run out of supply. They're not going to be able to supply those front lines. Now, what about the attack here? We did lose quite a few assault AT squads, and these are straight-up NATO assault AT squads. We don't have any of our Albanian or our um, Kosovo support units here at all. Um, so we did have some losses, but, you know, this is kind of to be expected. And out of 104 assault squads and 8 being destroyed, I'll take it. Again, it's not easy um, to accept, but it's just the reality of war. Pretty nice there, man. We've got a little bit of our turn remaining, but I don't think there's too much we can do before we have to turn it over to the Serbs here. Let's see what we can do against that infantry unit, because opening up a nice gap there would be awesome. But see, the likelihood of success is very poor. The thing is, though, we've got a huge amount of air support here. So again, you can't always trust that air support um, because the attack power is going to be pretty significant. Um, sorry, you can't always trust the um, the odds calculator. It does depend. But it's amazing. We have pushed through over here on the Ornovac front, I'm going to call it. This is where, of course, we've got all those KLA Kosovo units uh, fighting against the enemy. They want to take their homelands back, of course. Um, and we might actually be able to attack with these units. Look at that. Yeah, the Kosovo units are strong, man. They are willing to attack. Um, even after already being involved in one attack. They're going to have some support here from a mechanized unit as well. And we'll, we'll call Broken Arrow. We'll give them all of the air and artillery support in the region. Now, I'm kind of ignoring the Macedonians, which is not good. Because our Macedonians have been the best army in this fight so far. Um, but we've dedicate, we dedicated all of our air support to them in the first turn, so I really think we need to kind of throw the support around if we can. Again, this might be a miserable failure, but I'm going to attempt it. You can't always trust those, um, those calculators at all. Nice! It worked, guys. It worked. 
and a lot of losses just trying to hold back our tank battalion they lost 16 assault at squads um and 405 millimeter artillery guns absolutely beautiful and we lost barely nothing at all a tornado an apache a kiowa uh, and a b-52 strata fortress okay i'll take it back we lost some pretty heavy aircraft um a tornado and a strata fortress but in exchange we decimated enemy troops here it looks like even over here we managed to push through but again it was entirely because of our air attacks that we were able to get through with the guerrillas and i don't know if we want to dedicate air units to those attacks in the future because losing three lynx um attack helicopters doesn't make me feel great although you can look at the enemy loss ratio here guys and it's dramatic imagine losing 50 percent or 45 percent of your entire force in a particular area so we have set out to um to accomplish something and i think for the most part we have accomplished it now it's just going to be enemy bombing runs and enemy movement and they are going to do everything they can of course to stop this push no doubt about it all right guys turning it over to yugoslavia of course you should play as yugoslavia computer They're starting to send some additional forces into Kosovo uh, from the east, from Serbia. Quite a lot of forces. And look at this, guys. They're flanking one of our armies. This is a problem for sure. Um, it's one of our Macedonian forces. So we need to get on that immediately because that is going to lead to bad things. Um, did not expect that to happen. We're going to have to pull back with some of our forces and potentially even bring that North Macedonian force back um, in an effort to just defend the area. They're bombarding a number of HQs here. Let's just take a look there. Yeah, pretty effective bombardments. Well, not incredibly effective, but, but effective. Over there, not effective at all. But you better bet that the Serbs have got some old Soviet bombers, and they are going to use it. And over here, they pushed back the Macedonians. Now, you can see um, we had quite a few losses here. 13 engineer squad lo squads lost. We don't have many of the assault AT squads because so many were lost in that first turn push when we absolutely took a tremendous amount of Serb territory. Um, but let's see how many people the Serbs lost. So it wasn't without losses that they made this push, but it was a concentrated effort. And with 71 AT squads, we're going to have to do something about this, guys. They're trying to stop that American push. In fact, they've got a massive force there. Now, as you can see, these are mostly artillery bombardments. This is also why it's so important to get in there as quickly as possible. They don't have much in the way of actual air support. They do have some um, Soviet-era bombers, etc. But what they really have are that is that artillery support. And it looks like they're even attacking us out at sea, guys. So this has gotten quite serious. It's total war for sure at this point. Let's take a look there. Yugoslavia did advance here. Our Bradleys had to fall back. We actually lost two of them. Not without taking out quite a few of the enemies, including a Spog anti-tank. And at this point, this is just close air support. Um, actually, or not close air support, just, just air support at this point um, as they're moving through the area there. Absolutely amazing fight there, guys. It is our turn, and we do have some additional reinforcements, which is great to hear. Security Council rejects Russian request for sanctions. All right, NATO has captured Gorozhup. Um, it's good to, good to see that things are happening for sure. That's awesome. Um, but it's good to hear also that we've got some reinforcing troops. I can see some of them already. Let's bring them in here. Um, nonetheless, man, what an incredible invasion so far. I am really loving it. 
And if you guys enjoy this and you want to see more, you know what you got to do. Just hit that like button, drop a comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I know it's frustrating to ask, but it's just the way things are. We've, we've got to ask. Now, this is what I'm concerned about, is this HQ right now being attacked by the enemy. So I'm actually going to have to fall back on this front um, just in an effort to hold off the enemy attacks in the region. But we'll still try to hold this front as well. We'll kind of try to hold on to both, honestly. And I think over here near Yakanich, uh, the enemy looks a lot stronger than it actually is. If we bring in this mechanized force, for instance... In fact, I'm going to do this right now. I'm going to bring in an engineer force as well. And I am just going to dedicate every single unit to this attack. Um, I think we can totally crush this Serb unit. I'm not even going to use any air support here. So there we go. Get some revenge for the last turn and move into Urosevac very soon. I'm pretty sure that mech brigade is utterly crushed. I don't think the Serbs know what they're in for, but I can't wait to show them. Thank you again, guys, for watching. I'll see you on the next one.